Nothing can hinder. Nurturing every learner. Together we soar. Make dreams score. Amidst the challenges we face, a journey of learning wins the race. Education for all. Let's rise, not fall. This is Dead Ed Science Ed TV. A video lesson of Wanjimakar Ed National High School. School Division of Pangasinan 2. We are now on the second module for the third and fourth week of quarter three. For today's episode, we will be learning about the nature of matter. And the most essential learning competency is to explain the physical changes in terms of arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. At the end of this learning episode, you are expected to number one, enumerate the different physical or phase changes in matter. Number two, explain the physical changes of matter in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. And number three, appreciate the practical application of the different phase changes. Let us continue our journey on the study about the nature of matter. But before that, let us answer the following questions. Are you ready? Write the letter of the correct answer in a piece of paper. We will check it every after question. Number 1. Which of the following correctly describes the motion of particles in a gas? Letter A. They do not move at all. Letter B. They move rapidly around in a random pattern. Letter C. They vibrate in a set pattern. Letter D. They flow easily but slowly around each other. And the correct answer is letter D. Number 2. Which of the following describes the difference between solids and liquids? Letter A. Both have a definite shape but only solids have a definite volume. Letter B. Both have a definite volume but only liquids have a definite shape. Letter C. Solids have definite volume and shape but liquids only have a definite volume. Letter D. Liquids have a definite volume and shape, but solids only have a definite shape. Five, four, three, two, and the correct answer is letter C. Number 3. Which of the following is not a way that matter changes its phase? Letter A. Evaporating. Letter B. Freezing. Letter C. Melting. Letter D. Mixing. And the correct answer is letter D. Number 4. What phase change occurs during condensation? Letter A. Liquid to a gas. Letter B. Solid to a liquid. Letter C. Liquid to a solid. Letter D. Gas to a liquid. Five, four, three, two, and the correct answer is letter D. Number 5. You accidentally spilled an alcohol on the floor. After an hour, the alcohol disappeared. What phase change occurred? Letter A. Condensation. Letter B. Deposition. Letter C. Evaporation. Letter D. Sublimation. And the correct answer is letter C. Great work! Don't worry if you got a low score. Stop everything that you are doing and listen attentively to be able to have a high score in the post-test. Stay focused! Let's begin! Before we go to our next lesson, let us first find out if you can still recall your past lesson about the particle nature of matter. You already learned that all matter has mass and can occupy space. But aside from these characteristics, all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules that cannot be seen by the naked eye. 
On Earth, materials exist in one of the three main states of matter, solid, liquid, or gas. Solid particles are packed closely together and vibrate a little in place but in fixed positions. They have definite shape and volume. Liquid particles move fast enough to overcome some of the attraction between them. They do not have definite shape. They take the shape of their container. Particles of gas move very quickly and fast. They do not have definite shape or volume. They take the shape of their container. Did you know that matter can undergo changes? Yes, it is because of temperature. When there is it, the molecules get excited and move fast. However, when there is absence of heat, the molecules move slowly until they become close to each other. The unit for temperature is Celsius. The melting point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. And the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Melting point is the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid. And boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure of a liquid is just equal to external pressure on a liquid. These changes in matter are called phase changes. When matter moves from one phase to another, this is considered as physical change. Matter can transition between the three states when heated or cooled. But why is heat is the key in all of this? When a material is heated, it absorbs heat energy. This additional energy can cause attractive forces between molecules to break. This leads to rearrangements of the particles because attractive forces no longer hold them together as tightly. The same happens when a liquid is heated. The attractive forces between the molecules break, leading them to become more widely dispersed and a gas to form. All of these changes in the phase of matter are accompanied by either an input or output of heat. So they are either an exothermic reaction or an endothermic reaction. Do you know these changes? Do you get them right? If it is yes, very good! Under the term vaporization are two ways to get the liquids and the gases. They are evaporation and boiling. Evaporation occurs at the surface of a liquid that is not boiling. This is like when you spill a drop of water on a table and leave it there. After a while, the water is gone but you didn't heat it up. The surface particles have enough energy to escape the liquid and become vapor and until eventually, the whole drop of water becomes vapor. Boiling is the rapid vaporization of liquid at the boiling point. In this case, you would either add heat or lower the external pressure on a liquid to get to the boiling point very quickly. Both are when a substance transforms from a liquid to a gas. Think of a boiling pan of water. All of the water bubbles. This is because all of the particles have enough energy to become gaseous. But water is standing in a pan that is not being heated by anything other than the environment can also turn into a gas. This is evaporation. Only the particles at the surface have enough energy to change from liquid to gas. Hence, evaporation is a slower process than boiling, even though it achieves the same state change. Both are types of vaporization. The opposite of this vaporization processes is condensation, the transition from gas to liquid. Think of a cold water on a hot day, those water droplets on the outside, or the dew on the grass in the morning or the steam up mirror after a hot bath, even the clouds in the sky, or a foggy windscreen on a car. These are all examples of condensation. Water vapor in the air has cooled down to form liquid droplets of water. Now, let's think about the transition between solids and liquids. So, melting and freezing. Melting is a change from solid to liquid. Think of the ice when it is heated. Temperature becomes warmer. More heat energy is absorbed by the ice. This causes bonds to break between the ice's water molecules and the ice starts to melt. 
the solid ice becomes liquid water. Same thing happens in the Arctic sea ice. Freezing is a change from liquid to solid. During winter, the air temperature are colder and so sea water freezes and the ice starts to form again. There is less heat energy within the ice and so more bands can form, holding it together as solid ice. Same idea if you put a glass of water in the freezer. Did you know that sometimes when solids are heated, they can turn straight into gases? This is called sublimation. It is a change from solid to gas. Sublimation is an interesting physical change where substances change directly from a solid to a gas without passing through the liquid state. This is only demonstrated by particular materials such as solid carbon dioxide, also known as dry ice. When subjected to a certain pressure, it will turn its straight into gaseous carbon dioxide. Liquid carbon dioxide does exist, but it only occurs under very high pressures. Can you think of another example of sublimation? Very good! The albatross that we put in the CR or comfort room are the mothballs inside our drawers. Similarly, gases can turn straight into solids when cooled. This is called deposition. It is a change from gas to solid. Example of this is the formation of frost. Frost is water vapor or water in a gas form that becomes solid. Frost wedging is most effective in a climate like Canada. In our country, frost usually happens in Atok Binget. Now, let's check how much you remember about the phase changes in matter. Did you get them all? Very good! Changes in matter are deliberately done to help improve our lives. Phase changes in present-day technology includes refrigerators and freezers in the operation of cold storage as a cooling agent. Geothermal power plant used to power turbine generators producing electricity. Look around your house and observe some phase changes has taken place. Are you ready for your post-test? Number 1. What happens to temperature of a substance in melting? A. Decreases B. Increases C. Nothing happens D. The same The correct answer is letter B. Number 2. The phase change from liquid water to water vapor is known as letter A. Condensation Letter B. Deposition Letter C. Evaporation Letter D. Sublimation The correct answer is letter C. Number 3. What do you call when a solid turns directly into a gas? Letter A. Condensation Letter B. Deposition Letter C. Evaporation Letter D. Sublimation And the correct answer is let number 4. What happens to particles when they are heated? Letter A. They stop moving Letter B. They slow down and compress. Letter C. They move closer together and speed up. Letter D. They speed up and spread out only as physical change. Letter A. Number 5. All changes of the state of matter requires Letter A. Energy Letter B. Reaction Letter C. Space Letter D. Volume Five, four, three, two, The correct answer is letter A.